Hey there, it's uh, Rudy, not Josh, but uh, we are doing it. We are doing a reaction video of a video of Let's Game It Out. And this is I build an unethical zoo where you make your own unethical zoo, Planet Zoo. Now, this is my very first reaction video and potentially my very last reaction video in itself. But I don't know if this video will ever see the day of light. But um, if so, here we are, right? Um, and I've no idea how to do these reaction videos. I have no clue whatsoever. My hair isn't done. I'm not prepared. Let's do it. It's gonna be a good experience. Hey there, it's Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. Are you ready for some Planet Zoo? Because that's what we're doing. Because you can do this. And this is the default entrance. By the way, b before we go on, default entrance is a good point here. This dude is also, like, he's smashing the FPS limit better than I could have ever done with Yosemite Valley and Koali in one file. You'll see how he's doing that, so uh, let's get on it, okay? ...to our park, which comes with all the essentials. You know, like this thing. The little ticket thing that lets people into the park. And not to mention these magical teleporter pads, which is where the people actually come from. And an overall cheerful atmosphere. But you know what? That's definitely not what we're here for. So you know this, we're one. gonna take this park in a different direction. So let's go ahead and create something kind of beautiful. And by beautiful, I mean terribly ugly. Okay, that's more like it. Now, this might look a little familiar, because I made something path. like this in my very first Planet Zoo video. But I only did a little little bit there and I did a whole lot more here so much more how long is it gonna take to get okay 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 this is basically payback for how much pain we experience from the path tool he's basically abusing the path tool to do pain to the game I quite like that this is the way to to do it okay this is the way to bring back the pain to the game that it does give up to us Let's see where that is going. Honestly, I haven't seen the video, by the way. Let's see what he's doing. I I can't. He's done this with Foundation too. It's insane. Um, dear guest, have a good walk. Get through this mess? Well, we're gonna know soon enough. But first, there's a couple of things we need to address. One, I didn't mean to hollow out the dirt around all the paths. I it's mostly so. that when I was setting everything up, I accidentally left this setting on for tunneling. Except so it kind of made the walkway off the ground. But you know, that's probably okay. So we're gonna take these things and move them. Like, all the way at the other end of this thing. And there we go. Ready for prime time. Now they have to walk through all this just to get to the entrance. It's... It's kind of good to know that we have biomes that are that big, like th that the parks are so large. I think he's using one of the big new large maps, which obviously he's doing, but look at the size. It's really crazy. Okay, we're making progress, but there's a couple more things we have to do. You see, people won't come into our zoo unless we have zoo-like things. And by that, I mean they're expecting us to have animals. Well, we're not gonna them, right? Oh, wait, I'm forgetting something. I almost forgot your googly eyes. How rude of me. Googly oh, eyes, and I haven't forgotten about you. I've got a special effect with your name oh, on no. it. Ah, uh, here we no, go. Do Water again. Jet Large. I... Just what we're looking for. Let's see, how's that gonna look? <laughs> oh, I feel like that's shooting farther than I intended. Time for a second one. And let's just take this one and let's just go ahead and rotate it over this way. Let's see. How did I do? Trade okay. Center. We're going to go with this basic crappy one. And then next we add an employee entrance to the habitat, followed by a pathway to connect. I just, uh, random comment here, but I just generally love how he's still explaining the games while completely abusing them and completely breaking it. There's so much essential stuff in all his videos. I really do appreciate that. It, it makes the whole experience so funny, but at the same time, you really take something out and you know how a game, well, actually is set up to break it, I guess, but you still get the idea, okay? Connect the two together, and now it's time to staff up, specifically caretakers. So we'll just put one, and two, and three. They can only transport one animal at a time, and I don't want this to take forever, so let's just staff up quickly. Yeah, there we go. Basic sandbox playing, you know, that's how I do it, except I just have more than one path, but that's the same I do. Yo, this should yeah. be plenty of people. Wow, I hope you enjoy the people you work with, because there certainly is a lot of time. So let's clear out this inventory and send them to the zoo. Okay, they're all going. You get an idea now why the frame rate in none of his videos are any good, right? I think it's a trademark to not have good performance at all, but that's why, basically. Going into the trading center not together. To ah, yes, that, and this is how all the animals I, come out. Yeah. They were all hiding from us in that I'm one little that room. And here we like go. Ah. Yep, this is how animals are made. <laughs> one glorious nightmare at a time. Don't worry, all you eye animals look like in one spot. Okay, now they're starting to separate. It's actually quite interesting to see how the different sizes apply. And you will tell me in the comments now that the sizes are accurate, blah, blah, blah. But that's how they stick up. Nice. Great. Here we go. And how certainly big the ostrich is, by the way. Everyone's starting to find their place. Ah, the way <laughs> nature wanted it. This penguin being trampled by a seal. And okay, so this is what a thousand animals looks like. What a menagerie. <sighs> and I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I think that's going to be enough animals for now. <laughs> 
So we are not even halfway through the video. The frame rate is already destroyed. He's going to put so many, I mean, all of us potentially have tested as a one day. It's also kind of a good testament of how many animals we have in the game by now. But, um, or like how many species, I should say, how many animals, it depends on how many you put in a habitat. Uh, for example, a thousand animals. And uh, I'm glad it's just a video because otherwise my computer is going to blue screen right away, I guess. But um, it's sitting quite nicely next to me. So it's all good. Let's continue. Because we've already butchered the frame rate and there's so much more to do still. Oh, and all of you, thank you for your service. You're all fired. Anyway, we now have the prerequisites for an amazing zoo. And now at long last, our park is ready to open. Come on in. Please enjoy my zoo. Oh boy, look, and our first guests are already here. Immediately getting drenched in tears before their journey. Now, of course... So, he here's the thing. It, it doesn't matter if you like Let's Game It Out or not, but... It doesn't matter if he's playing it himself or someone else is playing it, but, you know, regarding the amount of videos he's putting out, potentially he's actually playing it himself. The amount of patience he has is at least equal to the ones we have building, because he's doing all that kind of stuff in the worst frame rate ever. So consider this whole thing taking ages, because, well, actually, with lower frame rate, this whole action takes even longer, even though you could speed it up, or kind of speed it up, but it doesn't really do that much, because the same frame rate is still bad, and the game just doesn't calculate it correctly then. Okay, let's see how that goes. So we have to wonder, how long is it going to take these people to get through this whole thing? Right now, in-game, after all the building I did, it is year 16, July 18th, which should give us a pretty good idea. So hold, please, while we wait. <laughs> it's actually okay. Three oh my god, they're finally almost here. I've been like, watching these fine good. folk as they walked across this entire thing. And my god, it's been excruciating. Also, kudos to all of these people, actually. They've been running this entire time. Speak only is he almost there. But there's all those animals to look at. Finally, the journey will have been worth- See, so have, have you seen how that is like the staircase going down? I mean, it wouldn't be Josh if this is the whole point of the video, right? I mean, just- just saying, but I just spotted that. I mean, technically you did too, but whatever. Welcome to the park, <laughs> sir. Oh. Huh? Wait, why did you- Is it too expensive? <laughs> you turn around. And how on earth are you still happy about this? In fact, why is everybody turning around? Oh. I think I know what I did wrong. You see those arrows there? <laughs> They're supposed to be facing the other direction. Whoops, silly me. <laughs> That's caused- It's, um, maybe something I have done a million times too. Maybe not, but let's put it that way. Everybody that was on their way here to turn around and leave. Just think, by the time you get home, it's... Or maybe not. Oh. See, that's where it's going down. I genuinely love the way he's setting up the videos. And even though this video is uh, potentially from its pacing, not like quite like the other ones, but I still like it how he's setting these things up. Showing the patience he has is uh, insane to get to the point. And now, uh, by the way, he used tunneling option here. Just see that, okay? It's how tunneling looks. But um, yeah, I'm... I'm quite excited to see what's down there. Like, we're getting finally to the Let's Game It Out part of the video, I guess. Even though Framerate is already destroyed, so technically he's already checked one of his boxes. Anyways, let's go on. Oh, you were so close. Well, at least you got to see them from afar. Don't worry, I'm sure... I have a feeling. That path will take you somewhere awesome, and I'm sure the animals will still be there. I definitely didn't put something in the water to make them sleep, like the forever kind. I mean, we had to get our frame rate back somehow. I'm gonna go ahead and say it was worth it. Look at that smooth frame rate. And don't worry about all those animals you missed. You could just live out their glory days right here. Oh, you. Just so handsome. Anyway, after... Okay, okay, okay. Let me just quickly go back to that simple You could just live out their here. glory days right here. Wait, let's oh. go to the next one. There you go. This is what I meant, and this is a te like this is just me geeking out about what he's doing. But th these videos are fully made for the experience. But look at that! He must have made all these screenshots actually in this place to put them down here, which is not really that hard of a thing. But it's not like these videos are like cheap, produced, kind of crazy. I build an unethical zoo kind of thing. It's that it's, it's like put thinking into it, which I love. But also, um, look at all the stuff being built here with the walls. They are pretty much perfectly aligned. These lamps are also, well, technically they are aligned, but like, I'm not sure if it's correctly. We could count the bricks, but we don't. Um, shall we? I'm just kind of obsessed with that. No, I'm just, no, I'm just kidding. But um, I love the fact how much he's paying attention to that. And also in his other Planet Zoo or Planet Coaster videos, you'll see there's actually some building kind of 
skill involved, which I think is good because that shows you that even these type of videos need a certain skill and, you know, way of dealing with the game. Again, yet bring it all together that is actually about the game. Love it. Okay, go on. Me geeking out is not a good thing. You just so handsome. Anyway, after a long, in all darkness and mystery, look at that. I see something in the distance. Oh no, what's this? There's a car on the tracks. This is going to take some time to clear. Never fear, everybody. I've got some entertainment that's going to be... Okay, so here's the point, and I've, I've seen that in a couple of videos he did. I'm not really sure what exactly is going on here and how he's doing that, but obviously in the game itself, the, the, the train wouldn't stop because that's just a scenery item and they would just like completely kind of go through it. But sometimes he's like adding some VFX and some cool stop motion to it and you don't really notice. Let's see what he's doing now. I'm so sorry that I'm just geeking out about what should just be entertaining, but I'm entertained by geeking out about that. So let's see be perfect for you during your formative years. Behold! Train is pulling into the station. All right, everybody off. Or I guess just some people get off. See, and again, I, I just can't tell you how much I love the fact he's telling a story again here and going in his laboratory. I mean, the title does tell you that we have something of making our own unethical zoo. Let's see what we're doing right here. I just love the, the way of getting here. And I also love the effect of the well, license agreement. Kind of stupid to deal with that, but I love it. Off. Oh, I see. You want more documents to read, huh? Well, don't worry. I'll get you on the next go round. I wanted a zoo, right? Well, now you can make your own. This is genius. I I am totally in for that. I'm totally in to see what's happening now. I totally love the way how this uh, kids enrichment toy is abused for something completely different. Uh, and that's what we do. Like, I use pieces the different way around. He's using the game the different way around. But okay, let's see what that is going to. After all, why should we save all the fun for ourselves when I'm sure the parkours have plenty to contribute? So here's basically how it works. You get up here. Ah, good. There we go. And here it comes. Wow, what a landing! My goodness, it's so majestic and surprisingly okay with all of this. But that was just a first test. Who wants the honor of getting... How is he doing this? Like, honestly, this is, again, so simple, so smooth. It looks so simple, but, like, I've got a thousand questions in my head now how he's doing it. I mean, obviously, I know how this is done with, like, green screening and stuff. Or basically, he just literally just put a screen Getting in there. Getting this out of I can see that's, like, yeah, clever. Just put a screen in there. But, like... Obviously, this one was dead before, then he exchanged that with the right... I'm just... Okay, let's The way in trying it themselves. It. Oh, it looks like we have a contender. Yeah, you did that. They're gone forever. Okay, now that the platform is clear. Well, mostly clear. Who wants to give it a go? Oh, looks like we have a volunteer. Oh, polar bear. A good choice. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, it's, it's just... <laughs> it's just digital animals, okay? There are no harm to real animals, please. Can we just look at the fun of it? Like, the, the, the sheer amount of stupidity in his mind, of craziness, just to create that ramp and having the rigid body, like, tumbling down like that. I I just briefly talked to the lady designer before this video, and uh, she was already saying, and I now I know what she meant. Like, we never saw the animals behaving like that when they die. Potentially that's because none of our animals usually die, uh, except from being old, but since we play sandbox, they are not getting old. I mean, they're getting old, but they don't die, you know, you get it. Um, so we didn't build uh, rams. We should ask Plastic Swans for that. She's doing a lot of stuff with the animals, but here you go. You've got a polar bear um, on the target by a ramp it's insane why would you do that let's go on um well this could be traumatic but i'm glad this lady's having a good time i know what happened here okay basically nobody's ordered a polar bear in a while so like a vending machine they just sat in there and expired well don't push it again Oh good, now you've done it. Now you've done it. Look, I was trying to tell you. They're all probably dead up there. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, you little psychopath. <laughs> Stop pushing the button. <laughs> oh. Yet, yet, yet again, it's it's not that simple, guys. It, it seems so funny and simple, but he must have... He must have set the whole thing up and put all the animals in there to be dead in exactly the spot where they have to be to tumble down the ramp. Uh, it, yeah, it's, um, evil genius. Evil genius, Josh. Anyway, yes, thank you for testing the button. Thanks for making such a horrible oh mess, box. you cretins. All right, well, I'm going to let this next generation of our state-of-the-art facility here. Oh, oh my god, that looks insane. What piece is that, and why? This looks so cool. Is it just lighting? 
Sorry, I'm ge again geeky. Pardon me, let me turn the lights on. Avert your eyes, flashbang out. Behold, in this facility, we can generate oh, any we scenery we want. Basically, it'll create it holographically for us to look at. I feel like there's an existing name for this, but I can't really remember what oh it is. is. Anyway, you see this display see here? This is where we tell this facility what we would like to see. So for example, let's say we want to see a lush landscape like this. No problem, we can generate that. See, watch. Activate sort of tropical scenery-ish. Ta-da! Something more exotic like the moon. You remember the moon, don't you? Of <laughs> course do. you do. do. Pristine, beautiful, and waiting for a new zoo. Grace, At least though. that's how I remember it before the bad stuff happened. Okay, grace, you know what? Okay, I think anyways. I'll leave it up to the people for the next location. I'm sorry, you want to make a Mars base of all things? Mars? Well, who am I to deny? And again, he, he must have built all the other places to bring that in. Uh, granted, the city might have been one of the scenarios, but... I, I like the effort put into it, this simple thing. Hey, all of you excited soccer moms. All right, fine. Something real quick, and I think you're gonna like it. Okay, here we are. So here's the final step of the zoo creation process. And launch. What, did you think everything was just gonna be virtual? Nonsense. You picked out the zoo, now we gotta go build it. You know that lab you're standing in? It's actually a shuttle. So I hope you brought snacks, because it's a pretty long way to Mars. I want to thank empires and pause. Okay. <laughs> The evil genius in this guy is absolutely going mad again. And he even set it up for another episode of this in the future. I still like this rocket, by the way. It has some Saturn V vibes to me. But um, apart from that, I uh, totally enjoyed the episode. And I know he did as well. But uh, yeah, it's not going to be my most favorite uh, practice ever to do reaction videos like that. But I gotta say, Let's Game It Out is a true example of how this type of very clickbaity, clickable videos can be absolutely cool, entertainment, educative at the same time, even though morally not potentially the best out there, but uh, everything else is just absolutely mad, and also the way how he's using different techniques that we also love to use for our zoo game is good. So everyone who loves Planet Zoo should like at least this video in terms of the effort put into it. Thank you so much uh, for watching. If you watched that crap I, I just did, why did I even do this? Never mind, it's, it's time to end the video, okay? See, bye.